Important features of the Denoy tensiometer include the screw for lowering the platform, the petri dish for the sample, the Denoy ring, the mirror for leveling, and the dial for reading off the dynes per centimeter, and the dial for adjusting the dynes per centimeter. Using a method of first lowering the sample stage with the left hand and then using a countering adjustment with the right hand to maintain the ring alignment with the mirror indicator line is important to calculating a final result. The process just described will bring the ring up through the liquid surface. The process of lowering the sample stage and then countering with the right hand dial to maintain the indicator needle with the mirror line is repeated until the Denoy ring pops through the liquid surface. Okay, we're going to do a uh, test here for surface tension on distilled water. And what we're going to do is we're going to lower the table to, uh, to the point where the needle starts to be deflected from the surface tension. So we're going to lower it so that the ring becomes closer to the, to the surface of the, of the water until the point where I see it starting to deflect the needle because of the strain. Okay, it's starting to move now on my right hand. That'll bring it back and measure the actual force of the strain. So we're level again, drop the table a little bit more compensate and adjust with my right hand so the needle is just about level okay it's level now lower it adjust again with the right hand lower a little bit with the left adjust with the right hand okay we can see if you look at the ring you can see the strain on the surface of the liquid now it's getting close to the breaking point lower a little bit more Compensate with the right hand and read the gauge. Lower the table, sample table. See a nice deflection on the surface of the liquid now. Lower a bit more. Adjust with the right hand. Lower the table a little bit more. I'm getting very close to the breaking point, so I'm going to go in very small increments. Just again. There. Now if we read the gauge, we're looking at a surface tension of about 77 dynes per centimeter for distilled water.